Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra three months free. Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Oppressor Mark 2 is getting embarrassed in the wackiest ways possible, or better known as the GT Online Top 5 Community Plays. That's right, today you will see oppressors getting embarrassed out there in the world of GT Online, along with some other awesome clips of course. And if you'd like to submit your own clip for a chance to be featured in the next episode, you can find all the instructions to do so down in the description. Now starting us off today at number 5, we have Deluxoism, and with a Deluxo versus a Mark 2 oppressor, you just know something embarrassing is about to happen. A deluxe rocket taking him out there, that would have been humiliating enough, but instead this guy flew straight into the police helicopter rotor blades and turned that Mark II oppressor cheese into some shredded cheddar cheese. And I'll ask it again, what is with oppressors flying into spinning blades? It seems like they just can't stop it. At number 4 is I lost my glass eye with a nice terrain or duel. Quite the cinematic finish there as he goes off the dirt ramp through the air across the road and hits a very long range free aim missile to blow him up. Definitely some sick skills in the Torado right there. In the number 3 spot is Lunko with some advanced Hydra dogfighting maneuvers. In a regular old dogfight 1v1 Hydra versus Laser, the Hydra doesn't really have a chance to win, it just cannot turn good enough to outmaneuver the Laser. However, if you bring VTOL into the equation, you can do some sick tricks like Lunko does to beat a Laser that's unaware of what you're doing. Of course, if the Laser does know that you're trying to do VTOL tricks in the Hydra, he can easily just disengage, fly away, and then turn around, and while you're recovering from the long VTOL, you're dead pretty much. Because once you do a VTOL trick like this, you do have to recover for quite a long time. And in this case, he does make it out alive. He just barely dips in the water, but he's able to recover in time. Now getting into the top two, first up is the J play. And again, just goes to show you how stupid these Mark II griefers are. How does anyone let that happen? Seriously, how can you be that awful to miss so many missiles on a dude on a Faggio scooter and then proceed to get sticky bombed by him? My goodness. Very impressive for Jay to be able to dodge that many Mark II missiles on the Faggio though. I gotta give him credit, but it just goes to show you how bad these players are. They just rely on the OP bike to do everything for them. But then we have Unblessed Spy in the number one spot today, and I've never seen a Mark II oppressor pilot die like this before. The man just got gas bombed off of his oppressor and died from the gas. Now since so little people use gas bombs, I'll go ahead and explain how they work just in case some people don't know. Basically if you direct hit a vehicle, the gas sticks to the vehicle as it drives. In cars it's not a big deal since you don't take damage from it because you're inside the vehicle. But on bikes, you're exposed to the outside world, so the driver will continue to take damage from the gas as they keep driving. And so in this case, the bomb hit the Mark II directly, so the pilot eventually died from the damage a few seconds later. I'm not really sure why he didn't just jump off and parachute down to avoid the very, very low gas damage, but as we've proven multiple times already, these Mark II players aren't exactly the smartest of the bunch. 
Anyways, that is going to wrap up this episode of the GT Online Top 5 Community Plays. Again, if you'd like to submit a clip for a chance to be featured in the next episode, you can find all of those instructions down below in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GT Online content. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.